Lo que no sé es quién es ella, tío. Te pa' aquí, majo Ya Hostias, no te acerques, Titi no. Que mate un poquillo Ven a por mí Ven a por mí No vayas a por ella, tío también eh, vale espérate tengo tengo de esta vale. Y ya te he pillado el truco, cabrón Ven aquí, ven aquí Ahora ya no me tocas un pelo, tío Bueno, un pelo sí que me lo tocas Pero que vamos, que esto está hecho ya Ahí estamos. just leave that woman in this prison we must find a way to free her from here Sybil, do not do that i know this woman she is not here by accident she is a witch if you free her we all run the risk of falling under the power of her magic but father we can't just let this poor person die here it would be inhuman inhuman that is exactly what she is my child 
He's the wicked one. Aeolus, is it not? He's the one who imprisoned me, with no food or water, and barely clothed. I what? You lying bitch! Don't listen to her! Father? She is trying to manipulate you. Use your brain, child! I'm begging you, get me out of here. I can't hold on much longer. A ver, vamos a hablar. ¿Quién es Sots? Who are you? My name is Edwin. The ignorant will tell you that I'm a witch, a sorceress, or even a necromancer. The truth is much simpler and more socially acceptable. I am, in fact, a magician. <laughs> no sé por qué no me la creo. Neither as powerful nor as evil-minded as they think me. She lies to thee. She is hiding something, and it is not her body. You would say that. I beg your pardon? No, nothing. Believe me, she is powerful. She is evil, and she is a danger to us all. Alec, you seem to know again. a lot about her. What the hell are you doing here anyway? The steward asked me to look into a dark power that has been affecting some of the villagers. Something evil. And my search has led me here. It is no coincidence. That cursed woman is the cause. I wouldn't expect him to admit to keeping a woman captive in the swamps for his own evil purposes. Nonsense. And so you just trotted out here with no escort. What, were you afraid we'd charge you extra? I came here as quickly as possible, yes. To stop you committing a grievous error. I was hoping that you would escort us back to the village afterwards. Without a supplement, yes. Seems to me that you are quite well paid. Mm, la voy a liberar. Y que sea lo que tenga que ser. I've never been in the habit of just letting people die like animals in a cage. Whatever their crimes may be. This woman doesn't look like a dead walker. That's enough for me. We'll take her back to Valvanor, and you can tell your stories to them. Stay away, you stupid girl! No! Fools! Leave her in that cage! Now meet your eternity. What are you doing to him? Let him go! Very well. You may have him. I am finished. Father? Father? Oh no, no! This can't be happening! You're gonna wish you had died back there in that cell, you sick bitch! Wait, wait! If I am to die, I wish to know who stands before me. Vulcan, bueno, vamos a presentarnos, eh. I am Vulcan, powder master of the Freeborn Blades. And as for the man you made the mistake of killing, he was our That is not my question. Who stands before me? Are you an imbecile or blind? I might be the mercenary who is going to grab you by your snake of a tongue and throw you into the darkest pit he can find. From what I can see, you're an imbecile. Incapable of piercing the face that hides the true nature of the Red Scribes. Well, I can pierce your face, if that's all you want, in several places. Mock, if you like, lamb that you are. You insist on believing that your employers are only scholars, curious and inoffensive. Can you not see more? Red Scribes, Ice Lords, they come from the same mold, and they want the same thing. Some are simply more successful in their efforts. Aeolus thought I possessed knowledge which he could use to become the equal of the Ice Lords. That's why he questioned me. Vale. Hombre, no es que no me fiara de él, porque la verdad es que me caía como el culo. Pero bueno. So what? Estamos en guerra y no lo vamos a culpar. We can't really blame him for trying to find a way to stop the Deadwalkers. Of course. 
Aunque ella también tiene razón. It was to protect freedom that I was starved, tortured and humiliated for weeks on end. It was goodwill and kindness that made him enslave a monster to guard my prison. <laughs> oh yes, I heard them all of the screams. That beast did not lack for meat. No indeed. Pues bueno, yes, visto así, la verdad es que tiene razón en todo. Which y está un rato buena también. You behave yourself if you don't want to find yourself back rotting in that cell of yours. I'm far from finished with you. I have questions, lots of questions, and you had better make damn sure I like the answers. So be it. Then I will tell you exactly what you want to hear, mercenary. ¿Cómo se os ha ocurrido matar a Eolas? You had the upper hand. Why did you decide to kill the leader of the Red Scribes? I desperately needed to replenish my power, so I drained his. My mood grows a bit murderous when I get too hungry, or when I spend too many days trapped in a filthy cell without so much as a toilet. Your friend was no hero. His aim was to reproduce the same ancient rituals that permitted powerful magicians to become the Ice Lords that we are fighting even now. He wasn't my friend. He was my employer. And a very influential man. You could have spared him, giving credence to your version of events, but you chose to kill him, and thus any chance of them listening to you. He was a deceitful and manipulative man. No one would have listened to me, so I permitted myself the pleasure of preventing him from harming anyone else. The World Heart has had nothing but suffering from these magicians. I rejoice at this death. We need more like it. Vale, supongo que se lo tenía merecido. Let's say I understand your reasons, but it was still a reprehensible thing to do that has put us both in a seriously shitty situation. We're going to have to play this right in Valvador. We'll try to talk with a steward, or the Red Scribes will lynch you without a second thought. We? Am I to infer that you're going to help me, gentle mercenary? Somebody has to deal with it. You seem to take pleasure in exposing yourself. To trouble, I mean. It's true. I hate denying myself a little pleasure, but I'm not worried about the outcome. Aeolus's daughter saw everything. She is an innocent and will confirm everything that happened here. All you need to do is deliver your model prisoner to your steward. Vale, los otros que rojos estaban corriendo. Besides Aeolus, did you see any of the other red scribes? I was drugged before being brought here. Aeolus is the only scribe who came to visit me during my captivity. But his second in command must have known. Although I don't know exactly how much Aeolus was able to manipulate his puppets. If they are all as naive as his daughter, I imagine the temptation must have been great. The Red Scribes performed a ritual in an ancient temple. Does that mean anything to you? So that's the reason why he disappeared. The ritual was designed to augment his power. Had it succeeded, he would have become an accomplished magician, the first step toward becoming an Ice Lord. Given the ease with which I killed him, I suspect the ritual was a failure, or at least a partial failure. Más o menos ahora tengo un demonio en la cabeza, vale, se lo vamos a decir. Let's just say the results weren't quite what he was hoping for. But something definitely happened. There was a burst of light, or maybe flame, and this thing entered inside me. A thing? What thing? A sort of parasite. The Red Scribes told me it was a demon. Neither one nor the other, insolent boy. I bring thee flames. I bring thee the world heart. I bring thee the power, and thou Would have hold me back with thy ingratitude and thy weak, pitiful body. Thou darest name me Parasite. 
Hello. You still here? Huh? Oh, yeah. I forgot to mention. He's kind of sensitive. I must say, I have never heard of such a thing. It is, at the very least, troubling. The end result is I sometimes find myself wondering who I am. What I am. That is, when we're not arguing, or it's not taking control without asking me what I think about it. Then again... This is absolutely fascinating. I think, when we get the chance, we should talk about it in more depth. Meaning we undoubtedly need to experiment a bit. Mm -hmm. is... There is probably much to learn from this demon. We'll see. For now, we've got more pressing problems. Let's finish this discussion in Valvanor. We better get back before they send a battalion out to look for us. Cierto, vamos a mirar por aquí detrás porque me vuelo que al igual hay algo escondido para hablar con Sibel. Vale, a ver, vamos a ver qué misiones tenemos. Energético, magia máxima más 10. Vale, lo que voy a hacer es. No, experiencia no, energético. Magia máxima más 10. Vale. Vale, me voy a liar aquí. Esto no sé, no. no, me voy a poner aquí en la izquierda. Vale. Eh, vale, me voy por donde no hacía falta irme, ¿sabes? Tenía el caminito por ahí al lado. Vale, por aquí. Vale, por aquí, por aquí. Ahora en principio esto tiene que estar todo limpio, ¿no? Ya. Well, first go see your steward before the villagers decide to burn me at the stake. I mean, if you want to, Vulcan. It'll probably turn into an interrogation pretty quickly. Try not to make it worse for yourself. But don't kill anyone, for starters. Especially if he's wearing red. That seems reasonable to me, for the moment. Vale, suena razonable. Vale, vamos a ver... Misiones, ¿qué tenemos aquí? Llevar la equipación de la guardia Mason. Vale. Y me quedan cinco piezas de metal refinado. Vale. Uh. 
Vale, Mason está aquí, o sea que vamos, ya que estamos aquí, vamos a completar primero su misión secundaria. A ver, ¿dónde está el borrachuzo aquí? ¿Es it true you killed the beast? ¿Es it true you quit the booze? What? Ah, oh, that's a load of bollocks. <laughs> I thought so, but I did kill the beast. Right. Okay then. You and me, we got off on the wrong foot. We owe you one. That's a man's job you done. I found your soldiers' bodies. <sighs> They were my best. I mean, it's sad. So, did you bring back their weapons? I know it's not pretty, but we need them bad. Yeah, I brought you back their stuff. I just hope it helps the survivors. Oh, I suppose it's better than nothing. I know I said I wasn't going to pay you, but those lads won't be collecting their pay, so here, you have it. Vale, bueno, volveré luego. I'm going. Me han dado unos guantes. Bueno, estos guantes son un poco peores, pero son resistentes a la magia. O sea que me los pongo. Y encima están más guapos. Y no me las puedo mejorar. Vale. Ah, vale. Que sí que me puedo mejorar las cosas, tío. Vale, vamos a ver. Daño esfera de fuego más 4. Qué bueno esto, ¿no? ¿Qué hago, tío? ¿Me la mejor o qué? Bueno, ahora no. Ahora no vamos a ponernos a hacer esto. Ya me lo haré luego con la calma. Vale, vamos a ver por dónde hemos venido. Voy descubriendo poco a poco más cosillas del juego. I'd stay here if you don't mind. Why? You're not planning to give me the slip by any chance, are you? I don't like the idea of getting locked up by the Red Scribes again. It might provoke me into a loss of my legendary restraint. And I'm sure that you don't want to have to scrape another one of your employers up off the ground. Hmm. Well, it's true that I prefer they remain in one piece. All right, fine, you can stay here. But if you do get it in your head to run away, I will find you. And you won't like it when I do. I'm trembling, but yes, I'll wait here. Did you find this famous beast? Found it and killed it. But don't hold your breath waiting for its fur for next winter, because I didn't bring it back for you. Excellent news. I knew the village could count on you. Actually, not so excellent. Aelis is dead. Dead? But no, that's not possible. Uh, are you sure? When it doesn't move and it doesn't breathe and it looks at you with an even stupider gaze than one of your guards, That generally means it's dead, yeah. I demand that you show some respect. The Red Scribes are a precious help to us here. Aeolus was a useful man. A... a good man. And he was under your care. Vale, lo escriba rojo nos manipula. O vuestro hombre bien tenía mucho de reprochable. Oh, please. Your good man had a few skeletons in his closet. He was controlling the swamp beast to keep people away. He had you all fooled. Aelis was even ready to kill his own daughter to cover up his secrets. What nonsense is this? How can you make such ridiculous accusations? Am I to understand he died at your hands? Bueno, ahora aquí qué hago, tío. Vale, bueno, se lo vamos a decir. He turned up all alone at the place where I fought the beast. No guide, no escort. He knew the way. And after coming after Sybil, he tried to kill his captive to shut her up. There was a fight, and he didn't survive. 
What madness. What do you know of this prisoner? If Aeolus held her captive, she must have been dangerous. Neither. I don't know much. Edwin isn't exactly the talkative type. Well then, you must find out immediately. As of now, she is your responsibility. I should deliver her to the Red Scribes without any further ado, yet, after what you have told me, I no longer know what to think. She will be given a fair hearing. Until that time, she never leaves your presence. If there is the least incident, I promise you, you shall answer for it. And there is no prison here, in case you had not noticed. Okay. Sounds fair to me. <sighs> However low your opinion was of Aeolus, his death is a great loss for Valvanor. He was meant to be looking into a most disturbing matter. All right, I can see where this is headed. What do you want? There is no guarantee that you have the necessary skills to handle this matter, Freeborn Blade. Even Mirana is flummoxed. What is it? An epidemic? That's exactly what I'd like to know. Several of the villagers have been behaving curiously of late. They have become distant, taciturn, and barely react to the world around them. They're just hung over. You'd know if you got drunk more often. And you look like you need to. I believe there are a few here who would know the difference. It's something else. They seem very concentrated, as though they are observing us. I fear it's some kind of sickness and that it will spread throughout the village. Got it. I'll slap them around a little. That should wake them up. My goodness. That's not exactly what I had in mind, but I must confess the results interest me more than the methods. Well, that's gonna be my method, so let's leave it at that if you don't mind. I'm not helping you because you made puppy eyes at the captain. Vale, entonces. Vamos a hablar aquí con la muchachita, con Sibyl. Leave me, Vulcan. I don't want to talk right now. Tenemos que hablar. Eh, siento lo de tu padre. I'm sorry about your dad. She took me by surprise. I didn't have time to protect him. Even though I wish you could have saved him, it's not your fault. It's that witch. Yeah, but it's understandable that she'd be mad at your father. Whatever he did to her, he didn't deserve to die like that. She's a murderer, a monster. A monster that maybe just saved your life. Perhaps. But why did my father have her imprisoned? Did he know she would try to kill him? He had us to protect him. And if he hadn't shown up in the middle of the swamp, he'd still be alive. It just doesn't make sense. We have to find out what he was doing. He must have been up to something, because he didn't talk to anyone about it. Not even the people who were supposed to take care of him. What are you accusing him of? Nothing, really. I'm just asking questions. But I'm going to need your help to find the answers. I will help you. I need to know what happened as much as you. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you want to know? I need your help. Come with me. If you want. Animar así, vale. 